It's on. It's on. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another another haul. Uh, quite a small one. Um, this is kind of like the car before the storm because we've got a few things coming from eBay this month. Uh, we are going to Blackpool today as of recording this. So this is just this is just like a this is this is just. Don't worry about it. There'll be a lot more. Um, play. Uh, I did. Oh. Good job I didn't buy it then. I do already have the PC Gamer. Uh, Caitlin bought me this already. I've not long got back as well, so I have glove lines. <laughs> so I have PC Gamer this month. Um, you guys know I like these. I'm not going to talk much about them. Play. If you like them and you're in the UK, get them. If you like your magazines. Right, we've got we've got a bit of a mix here. There's not one specific thing. Um, so I'm not going to go over this one too much. FIFA 13, so I obviously have FIFA 15, so I'm probably not going to likely to play this, but it's £2.50, and as a Vita game goes, it's a cheap one, because for some reason, Vita games go for silly money, so, you know, that is what it is, I know why, obviously, and everyone's kind of raving on about Vitas now, so everyone wants one, but, yeah, um, God, I can't wait for tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow as I recorded this, I'm going to buy so many fucking games, it's going to be silly. So I've got one PS4, one PS5, one PS3, and I'm not going to go over the rest yet. So for PS5, we have Godfall. It was £8, and it's an actual PS5 one. Obviously, my PS5 shelf needs filling out. So this we're going to get. Uh, I have no idea what it's about. You are the last of the Valorian Knights, Masters of Combat Equipped. Masters of Combat Equipped with Legendary Armor called Valor Plates. Solo or co-op, looks really cool. I don't know if it's any good or not, like I said. Disc isn't even in the thing. That's a good start. Wow, it actually comes with a manual and a code. Which has definitely been used. But yeah, it was £8. I thought I'd give it a go. It's by Gearbox. Uh, I know nothing about it. So it'll either be really good or really shit. One or the other. The PS4 game is Ghosts. Bit of a silly price to be paying for this kind of game. But, you know... We are going to play through, like I've said, in every single time I pick one of these up. I am going to play through the entire Call of Duty campaign list. And um, I had I didn't have Ghost on the PS4, so now I'm, I own every PS4 Call of Duty. Um, so that's quite good. You know, I, I wanted to get them, like I said, I wanted to play for them. Ghost as a campaign was alright, it wasn't anything particularly special. Um... You know, it is what it is. I'd... It's nice to own them. And like I said, now I'm pretty sure I own every single Call of Duty on console. So, I can't believe this is still £12. Why is it still £12? That cost me more than, um, than not this, not Modern Warfare 2, but 2019 Modern Warfare 1 cost me £18. That's just cost me 12 Which is a bit silly. But you know, it is what it is. Fear on the PS3. I want to get that. You know, I, I can't get them all out now. I have purchased a copy of Fear about six times now. And I think only one of them actually worked. Which isn't fucking annoying at all. But I bought this for the trophies. Um, I have Fear on the Xbox, I believe. Maybe not. Oh, no. Okay. No, so I've got Fear 3 on the 360 and Fear 2 on the PS3, and now Fear 1. I really want to play this, I really do. Um, I'm kind of, I'm in an R in whether I just buy it on a, they have the collection on Steam. I don't know whether I'll just do it on PC, but I'm going to do this for the trophies. But yeah, you know, it looks cool, it looks interesting, I really want to give it a go. Um... Now I only need Fear 3 on the PS3, and then we have all of the uh, all of the Fear games. Um, it's kind of a cool game they could bring back if they wanted to. Oh, right. There's a reason I had to buy it. <laughs> I had to buy it. The original Halo Combat Evolved. I don't own an original Xbox yet, but this is my childhood. I mean, I've spoken about Halo before. I love Halo. 
with a passion. It's one of my favourite games of all time. I love the campaign. I love Master Chief. I love everything about this. I will get an original Xbox again. Obviously, we've played through this on the channel, um, the Master Chief Collection. But it's not the original Halo, is it? And now we own it. Like, it's just so good. Such a good game. For the time, you know, four players, two player co op, split screen, land parties, multiplayer, just for the time, it's completely changed games, didn't it? Let's be honest with ourselves. It really did completely change gaming. So, I can't say enough good things about about Halo. I really can't. And now, I'm pretty sure I own every physical copy of a Halo game. So, that's quite cool. Quite interesting. Right, and finally, it's a bit of a spoiler for what's coming up. But, you know, it is what it is. We are starting to buy PlayStation 2 games. Conflict of Vietnam, a game I played quite a bit. Um, they did a Desert Storm one. That one was really good. Um, and this one is obviously based in Vietnam. It wasn't insane for the time. Um, but it's like a, a four-man team of squad-based stuff. You can you know, swap to different characters whenever you want. They all have different weapons and uh, equipment on them. For £1.50, if you own a PS2 and you haven't played this, I'd say pick it up. They did make it on the original Xbox. Um, I don't think I ever finished it, actually. I, I distinctly remember getting stuck on a tank segment, and I just gave up. But, you know, it has, like, it even talks about the squad, all the people in your team. So, yeah. It's, uh... It's worth playing. 100% worth playing. Get it if you, if you haven't played it. it. It is good. And in... You know, for that price, be a bit silly not to. Right, Rainbow Six Three. I want to get every Rainbow game. Um, it would be quite cool to do a Rainbow Six like complete series playthrough at some point. Whether this one is just one I play on my own time or not, I'm not sure yet. I don't remember much about the really early Rainbow Six games. Um, I can't remember ever playing many of them or doing much with them but you know i will get them all um this one was a pretty barren yeah just just the disc to be honest with you the more i think about it now manuals and stuff i don't care about them it's not if it comes with them great if it doesn't you know waves I, I don't really care to be honest like it's cool i like owning them it does add to the price but <sighs> waves you know but yeah, like I said, I will get them all. Um, I have Rainbow Six, th not three. I have a Rainbow Six on PC, and obviously all the Vegases on Xbox and blah blah blah. blah. We are going to get them all anyway. Don't know much about it, so if you know anything, you know, let me know. And the final game here is is one that I I am excited to play. Um, it's Max Payne. It's the original Max Payne. Two pound fifty. So yeah, I'm going to get all of the Max Payne's. I obviously really want to play Max Payne 3. I will play through Max Payne 3 on the channel. Because um, it's backwards compatible with the Xbox Series X. And I have the 360 copy for that. I do own Max Payne 3 on PS3 for trophies. But I will get around to playing some of these older ones. I will. I, I, I'm going to make myself do it. Like, graphics and stuff, not interested. Really don't care. Does not bother me in the slightest. It, that comes with a menu. Wow. But yeah, I, I, as a franchise, Max Payne, I know next to nothing about. I know Rockstar made it, and obviously Rockstar are really good. They make pretty decent games. Um, but in terms of this series, I know nothing about. Like I said, I've never played a single one. Um, don't know why, because I used to have tons of games for my PS2, but I can't. I couldn't tell you why. Max Payne, a man. With nothing to lose in the violent cold urban night, a fugitive undercover cop framed for murder now hunted by cops and the mob. Max is a man with his back against the wall, fighting a battle he cannot hope to win. You know, we've seen, I've seen the gameplay and stuff, like the whole slow motion, like bullet timey kind of gameplay. It looks interesting. So, so uh, yeah, there we go. That, that is my haul for this. Like I said, this is just the beginning. My tripod is falling to pieces like it's 
turns by itself. Stop it. Why are you breaking? Oh, I can tighten it up there. Ah, I see. There we go. Nice. Oh, but there we go. Um, PS2 stuff might be a bit harder to play um, on the channel. Um, I do in want to, at some point, if I can find one for a decent price, get like a the original PS3, like the backwards compatible one, um, so I can play some of these on HDMI. Whether we can or not, I don't know. You know, but like I said, most of this is probably going to be stuff that I just play in my free time. But uh, yeah, interesting. So, if you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Subscribe, all of that good stuff. Links to all my social medias in the description box down below. It has been your boy, and I'll see you all in the next one.